This video is in response to a comment I got on my original arrays video for Bash uh, from a viewer, Freelance Patriot 76 And uh, they pointed out, well, let me start off by creating uh, some arrays here. I can go, uh, just using the same example I used in the last one, we'll create an array called names. I'll set the first name equal to Chris. And then I'll set the second array equal to Tom. Number three in this array equal to Bob. And number four will set equal to Jen. Now in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the for command. So for I in, and then I used this little doodad here to count from one through four. And then we said do echo and I said dollar sign squiggly brackets or curly brace, whatever you prefer, uh, names, and then uh, we'll do dollar sign I here. And I'll explain all this in just a moment. Close your squiggly brackets and then done. So for I, so we're creating a variable called I and I is gonna equal one through four. It's gonna count one through four. And for each of those numbers, one, two, three, four, it's going to do this. And what it's gonna do is echo or print out to the screen our array of names one at a time as I, our variable that we created over here is equal to whatever number it's at at that point and done just closes our for loop. So if I hit enter, it basically just prints out each name in that array. If I show you, if I change this from one through four to one through three, I'll only do the first three names, one, two, and three. If I do two through four, it skips the first name, Chris, and it goes Tom, Bob, Jen. But the thing that uh, Freelance Patriot 76 pointed out to me is it could be simpler if we just changed it to this. Instead of doing this little doodad here to go from one through four, what we can do is put our array there, dollar sign, squiggly brackets, names, and then instead of a number, we'll put the at symbol. Oops, sorry, that's supposed to be uh, square brackets. At the at symbol. And basically that's saying every array. So we can't do, at least not exactly how I'm showing you, you know, one through three or two through four. This will just display every array uh, or every value in that array. So for i in every array, do echo i and i equals each array as we go through. So if we hit enter, I forgot to close my quotations here. Let me close my quotations here. We'll hit enter and you can see it prints out all four names. Now one benefit of this is if we were to add another item to this array, but we'll number it 14 so it's at a sequence and I'll call it Tammy. I can use this and it still prints out all names including Tammy even though Tammy isn't in the sequence of one through four. So if we were actually do our old way of doing it like so, even if I change this to five, you can see it put a blank space instead of Tammy because Tammy is number 14. To get Tammy to print, I'd have to put this to 14 and I get all this empty space in between of arrays that don't really exist quite yet. So we'll have a look again at the code from Freelance Patriot 76 for i. So we're creating a variable called i in an array. So, and the at symbol here says every array. So I equals every array, and then we'll just do a loop. So as it loops, it will echo out each value one at a time, like so. And that is another way to use arrays in Bash, uh, just depending on what you're going for. For more uh, information on arrays, check out my previous array video. And for more Bash videos and other tutorials, visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info. Have a great day. And thank you, Freelance Patriot 76, for your comment.